All set? We're good. Okay. So I, I, for organ systems, I'm just going to kind of work from the top down here because that seems to be easiest. Um, hard versus soft palate to begin with. Hard palate's going to be anterior, soft palate's going to be posterior. We didn't break the jaw line, so can't quite see it. Um, on the tongue, your lingual frenulum is the flap under the tongue. The papillae are the bumps on top of the tongue, so that's that. Um, gingiva are the gums, and vestibule would be in between the cheek and gum, either superior or inferior. Okay? Now, getting into the glands. Your, your parotid gland is at the base of the ear, and your parotid duct is always going from this gland, the base of the ear, to the corner of the mouth here every time. And here it is, this clear little thing. Mm -hmm. There's your parotid duct. Mm -hmm. Your submandibular glands will be here. There's your mandible, so submandibular. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right, moving down to your larynx area, this whole where everything comes together would be larynx. Okay, now you've got your epiglottis, which is the flap that's supposed to swing down and cover this, the whole opening right here. It's a little tough to see, but I'm opening it right now. That would be the glottis, so that would that is where going down to your trachea for the air. Posterior to that, right here, the soft tube would be the, esoph the esophagus. So I guess I, if I wanted to pin esophagus, I guess to be fair, I'd pin it straight through it like that, almost closing it, so you don't confuse it with glottis. That's how I like to do it. And then. Um, Trachea is easy because it's got these the cricoid cartilage rings and it's you know it looks like a flexi straw kind of okay uh, obviously lung tissue is here here's your diaphragm and maybe we'll get a better angle here now I'm gonna lift this diaphragm up so you can see the huh, I want to say lingual frenulum um, <laughs> false form ligament thank you very much okay holding the liver up to the diaphragm. Uh, then you've got your liver and it's going to have lobes and I just go in quadrants left and right medial left and right lateral out here caudal means footward so the caudate lobe would be pointing footward simple as that okay embedded in this the green bag in there is going to be your gallbladder and if I spread all of these apart actually this is really good because you can see you can see the cystic duct coming off of your gallbladder here. Um, hepatic ducts you can't quite see, but they're coming out of the liver, and then they come together to form the common bile duct down here. They kind of form a Y. Then the bottom of the Y is the common bile duct right before it goes into the duodenum right at the pancreas. Okay? Um, since we're here at the stomach, let's go through that real quick. The fundus is the, the part way, way up top. Um, the gastroesophageal sphincter will be here, right in the cardiac region, body of the stomach. This is the pyloric region, which will have the pyloric valve. Um, if you open the stomach, these will be, uh, any wrinkles will be rugae. That stomach's pretty gross. Um, your lesser curvature will have the lesser omentum. Your greater curvature will have the greater omentum, which is the, this fatty apron. Let's not confuse that with mesentery the webs in, in, in the small intestine. You guys had that, no problem, okay? Your spleen is on the left over here near the, uh, the stomach. Um, okay, moving on down, small intestine. In the small intestine you have duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The duodenum is always gonna have the pancreas attached. Here's the pancreas attached to the duodenum. And actually, if you really look, there's your uh, hepatic portal vein too, okay? Jejunum, I just stick a pin in the middle there. And then ileum, you have to go looking for because you have to find the cecum, which is right here, the pouch. Okay, so ileum, I would, so this is the ileocecal valve at, right at the cecum, at the pouch, um, which is div the divider between small intestine and large intestine. So this, I'd pin ileum here right next to the cecum, then after cecum, you're, you are a large intestine, and it's kind of in the shape of a question mark. And if I get it all out of the way, it goes ascending, transverse, and descending colon. Okay, that'd be large intestine. Colon, large intestine is the same thing. Okay? And then rectum. Rectum would be like way, you know, way down there. Okay? Uh, urinary system. Kidneys, 
going to your ureter, the clear tube, which is going to go down to the bladder. Okay. Uh, then, actually, did did you guys separate that? We didn't. We didn't go all the way down. But if you on the bottom, it's going to be urethra heading all the way straight out. But you, you didn't split that. That's okay. Um, let's see. Female reproductive. Kidney. Well, okay. Uh, did we split a kidney? Yes, we did. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Kidney. We're going to have the cortex is the outer part. The medulla is going to be this darker ring to me. Your pelvis will be this hollow collecting chamber, and the hilum is where everything is yeah. entering and exiting. So mm -hmm. I'm going to call the hilum actually right exactly here. Hilum, same, same thing. Same Sorry, thing. Uh, singular versus plural in, in Latin. Okay. Um, here's your ureter coming down to bladder again. Um, female reproductive. You've got uterine horns left and right coming up to the um, ovary. The flap coming off the ovary here is going to be the oviduct, which is analogous to fallopian tube. Where, where the two horns come together is the body of the uterus, or, or just simply uterus would be fine. Um, you guys didn't split the pelvis here, but anything from the, from the pubic symphysis down is going to be the urethra on top, the vagina uh, deep to that. Your ligaments are, your broad ligament is holding it to the side of the body. Your suspensory ligament is suspending it up towards the kidney right here, mm -hmm. holding it up. And that's it. Yeah. All right.